IPv6 extension headers. As we saw in IPv6 protocol, the main header has been simplified in comparison with IPv4 header. Its size is constant to 40 bytes only. IPv6 extension headers have been introduced to allow the incorporation and usage of several options. These IPv6 extension headers, which can be 0, 1 or more, follow the IPv6 main header and come before the layer 4 header such as TCP or UDP and its payload. A field common in all extension headers is next header field which indicates whether another extension header or the protocol payload is to follow. Therefore, the last extension header will always specify which protocol is encapsulated as the payload. The IBV6 extension header format, a uniform format for IBV6 extension header is defined in uh, RFC 6564. Currently all but the fragment extension header follow this uniform format. The next header field identifies the type of header immediately following this extension header, while the header extension length uh, field provides the length of the extension header in octet units. Not including in the uh, uh, not including the first eight octet, and the rest of byte of bytes will be the data of the extension header. There are currently six extension headers. Number one, hub by hub options protocol number zero used to carry optional information that must be examined by every router along the path of the packet number two routing extension header protocol number 43 allows the source of the packet to specify the path to the destination Number three, fragment extension header. Protocol number 44. Used to fragment IBV6 packets. Number four, encapsulating security payload. ESP. Protocol number 50. This extension header is used to provide authentication, integrity, and encryption. Number five, authentication header, AH. Protocol number 51. This extension header is used to provide authentication and integrity. And the last extension header type is destination options, protocol number 60. This extension header is used to carry optional information that only needs to be examined by a packet destination node. This is the end of the lesson and you can now proceed to the next lesson. Thank you.